Hey, you guys. Hey, Hi, Mr. P. P. What are you doing here? Working oh. on a birdhouse. Working on the, a birdhouse or the birdhouse? A birdhouse. Bird. Whose birdhouse is it? It's mine, Mr. P. It's your birdhouse. Yeah. Well, that's cool, Mosin. You got a good buddy there. Is Mosin being a good buddy? Mm hmm All right. I like to see that. Well, I came down here because I need that bench hook that you're, that you're using. No. Well, why not? Because it needs to be perfect. Because what? Our work needs to be perfect. Well, I won't keep it that long. You sure I can't have it for the rest of the day? No. All right. Well, you know what? I've got another idea. How about... How about if we just record this? You guys keep working, right? You keep working, and we're going to record this. We'll videotape it, and we'll show this to all the new students that we have now that don't know anything about the bench hook and don't even know the value that it brings to being a perfect project. Okay. Is that cool? Yeah. Mosin? Yeah. You game? All right, let's do it. Well, you just keep working, and I'm just going to watch over you, and I'm going to see how things are going. Okay, that's good. Angela, I really like your um, um, body position, the way you're holding the screwdriver. You've got your one foot forward, turning that in well. Two hands on, one on the shank and one on the handle. Mosin, all your weight on top of that piece of wood. I like that a lot. That keeps that really tight in the corner. Really nice. This is going to be nice. You're going to be all right. Hey, do you mind if I pull this out of the... Sure. Bench hook, you mind? Sure. Awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna set this over here. As far as the bench hook goes, let's talk about the way this is designed. And you remember this probably from last year. Mm -hmm. We have the long fence in the back, this short wall, and then we have the short fence here on the side. And so this becomes the wall that hits the, when you slide your wood in, it keeps it nice and plumb, nice and square, right? Mm -hmm. And where's that sweet spot on this? The right corner. In the corner. It's in the corner, that's right. So if we were to take this to, and put it back in and load it back into the bench hook, we can see that everything is nice and tight. Everything is totally plumb, and this is, is quite uh, perfect with uh, its relationship to this bottom board. And what is that relationship? It's perpendicular. It's perpendicular. Good, you both got that. That's excellent. Perpendicular. It's perfectly perpendicular. So the only way that's possible is by using the bench hook and having a good buddy. Those are the two things. A good buddy and a good bench hook, right? So I want to go over, I want to show, uh, go over a couple little things here that on the front of this, we have another wall here, another fence. And that fence goes against, what, the table here. So when we slap it to the front of the table, we can slide it down here. And it, does, and it keeps, keeps the bench hook from moving all over the table, right? So now we know that the only direction it can move is this way, and that's okay, because sometimes you have a longer project or a shorter project, and so you want to be able to slide that. But without a good buddy to keep the weight on it, Angela, your birdhouse would be moving up and down this table, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now back to the table. The table it, uh, it, that we have here is rectangular, and you always want to have a rectangular table. You don't want to have a round table, and if it's a rectangular table, it needs to be a good wooden table, a solid table. A good picnic table works. Some countertops, and you could actually, this could get built in the kitchen as long as the countertop's not too high. You just have to be careful and certainly make sure your buddy knows where you want to do this. You don't want to do it alone there, right? So um, other than that, I think that's all that I needed to share with our new students on the bench hook. Is there anything that you guys thought maybe I left out? No. No? You sure? Yeah. Well, I sure appreciate you know, you're spending a few minutes with me and with all those kids out there, all those students that are fifth graders now that are going to be enjoying building their projects this year. Thanks, guys. It's great seeing you. Me too.